Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marquita. And on this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the stuff I picked up from Inkwell Press. So, I have never had an Inkwell Press planner before. I have thought about it in the past, but I never quite explored it. And so I saw a video, I was browsing around YouTube and I saw someone opening up an Inkwell Press Planner. I uh, figured out that they have uh, disc bound planners now and I'm all into disc bound right now. And so I decided to just pick one up. So I spent, I think about a hundred dollars. Uh, so they are not cheap, but I thought I would show you guys everything that I picked up. First, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll stick around and consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So let's jump on in. I'm to show you what I picked up. If you want to see that, make sure to stay tuned. So I'm super excited to be unboxing this Inkwell Press Planner that I picked up. They have a disc bound system now. I'm not too much into the coil planners unless it is an Erin Condren. You guys know I use an Erin Condren for my business and social media planner. So I'm not totally opposed to coil because I do have that planner, but my heart is where the discs are. And so now that they have a disc bound planner, I have uh, decided to pick one up. So my tip to you is to stay out for YouTube, stop browsing around because you're going to run into something that you're going to buy. And then you're going to be like, why did I do that? Although I'm not like having regret about it. I just feel like I spent a hundred dollars and I didn't need another planner y'all. You guys know I don't need another planner. So I went a different route kind of with this and I kind of just wanted to see what Inkwell Press was all about because they are all over YouTube and um, there are a lot of people who use this planner and their system and so I want to at least test it out one time so I can say I've had it in the past and I'll know that Happy Planner is just where my heart is and I'll just stick with that. So that's my story y'all. <laughs> So I'm gonna open this up. Love the box. It says you want more than a productive life. And it's got some pattern here on the side. Inkwell Press Productivity Co. Love that, by the way. And then the website there, inkwellpress.com. So again, they typically are a coil planner company, but now they have this. And I'm excited to show you guys all the good stuff. So y'all, also sidebar, this is where my new lens comes into play because before I wouldn't be able to get this type of shot with my other lens. I would have to stand up or it would just be like weird. I would be like pulling stuff in and out. So now if I wanna show you guys like really, really all the stuff, I could pull it out like that and you can really see everything that's contained in this package. But I'm, I think I might be okay tightened up this much. All right, so first and foremost, there's a little booklet here that says the joy of missing out, live more by doing less. So there's some sort of pamphlet here that talks about some different things. So I'll have to go through this on my own time, but I do like that they included this. Tanya has taught me, and there's like a whole list of things. The joy of missing out is more than just a book. So. I'm guessing there's a book called The Joy of Missing Out, and that's just like a promo. So this says, IW Pink Inkwell Press Family Welcome Guide. I love this, y'all. So the creator is Tanya. I, yeah, Tanya. Y'all, I'm new to this whole thing, so excuse me, all of you veterans out there that have owned an Inkwell Press in the past. You already know all of this stuff, but I'm looking at it for the first time. So she has a YouTube channel. She's all over social media. So this is just another little pamphlet that shows like what you can expect and like some products that she has. And so yeah, so that's that. Then we get to the good stuff. So the bubble rack on the outside. And then another promo, The Joy of Missing Out. I get, I'm thinking that's her book. And then there is J-O-M-O -O Bingo. So said no and didn't feel guilty, created a vision board, used squirrel strategy, stopped by to enjoy a million dollar minutes. So this is cool. I'm really going to look into this stuff to see what this stuff is all about, y'all. So right now I'm just kind of going through it really quickly so I can get to the stuff that I really ordered. And then there's another little card in here that says just breathe. And 
there's just a little snippet on the back. And then this is the stuff that I ordered y'all. So these are the inserts, the half sheet inserts. They say the date, Monday through Sunday, today's focus. Let me open it up so you can see it. Love the packaging, by the way. Let's see how they feel. So it's a notepad. Oh, that's really cute. So the paper quality is really, really good. And again, as you can see, hopefully you can see at the top there that says uh, the date, today's focus, escalate, cultivate, accommodate. Y'all, I'm hoping y'all can see. And notes. So I really, really love this and I love how neutral it is. Uh, I can't recall how many sheets came with it and y'all, I really don't feel like counting. It is double-sided and I think the paper quality is really, really nice. I like it a lot. So. It has like a blue color, really light blue color at the top. And I'm excited to use that. So of course it is disc bound as well. So as you can see, it's punched for discs. And then we got a pin loop here. I love a good pin loop. It is a snug fit. You guys know I love my pin loop to have a tight grip. And so it has a little leaf on there, which I'm assuming is a part of their logo. And so I'm gonna be using that. Next up. We got a little pouch. This is cute. So it's a little zipper pouch. It's not that deep. So like half of my hand can fit in there or like a little more than half. And I love how chic it is y'all. Like I think I'm gonna really like this. See, because I really love a good neutral planner and I think um, eventually I may go into an all neutral system and just have like my planner be black and white, everything be neutral. Cause I love when my dividers are like all uniform. And right now, like with the Happy Planner, they have so many different designs and I wish they would come out with an all neutral line where everything is just neutral. They don't have to keep doing it and keep revamping it. It's just a one-time thing. And so that's why I started to develop my own printables and inserts and things. And I am expanding my shop because I just love neutral. It's just my thing. Um, Cloth and Paper is really good about their neutral stuff so I do have some of their stuff which I recently showed you guys on Instagram that they sent to me they have inserts they have lots of chic black and white things I love neutral and so yeah so that's that's what I'm all about right now so I'm eventually thinking I'm gonna go into an all neutral system I just gotta find the time to figure out how I'm gonna get all that done so this is a super cute pouch I really really love it and of course it is punched for discs as well and then I got a ruler this ruler has a little bit of gold foil on it it says love today Hopefully you can see that. It says love today. And so that's really, really super cute and I love it. And that is how the ruler looks. So that snaps right into your planner as well. And then they had covers on clearance. So this cover I just picked up just because it was on clearance. And again, it's neutral. And so let me open it up so I can show you. So it has Inkwell Press, their logo on the back. Productivity Co. established 2014. It's not a leather material, but it's maybe like a faux leather, but I love it. I love how it feels. It feels really good in your hands. Love that they just, the little details of packaging is what I'm obsessed with. So I'm not sure why they all this stuff is on clearance, but I thought this would be good to switch out my covers if I wanted to. And so then their system has it to where you start at a certain point, which is picking out your cover and then pick out your inserts and then pick out your accessories. So it's like a whole process that you go through in order to customize your own planner. So this is the cover that I chose. I love it because it's kind of neutral and on the inside has that gray vibe and it's got like a little bit of pattern in there that's really cute. And so it's made of like a papery sort of material, but it's, it's a durable material. It's not the same material of the cover that I just showed you. Again, punch for discs, love that. And so I have two cover options. And then I went ahead and purchased, y'all, I'm so excited about this. Love these so much. You guys know I do have dashboard dividers in my shop, um, but these are like frosted. 
so I am in the market for a different look for mine because I just love the frosted look. I feel like you can still see through it and I feel like it's more forgiving with like fingerprints and stuff. That's my only issue. So I am looking for that uh, for my shop, but I definitely wanted some for their system as well. And it came with these dividers here so I can add the months on the side because as you know, well with their system, they don't have the same divider tabs like the Happy Planner has within their monthly section. So I bought these just so I could have the months as well. And then I can use my divider divider dashboards at the top if I want to have different sections so this came with 12 probably so really really good material and it has their little logo here at the bottom so it's really cute so it's more like a shiny feel on one side and then a frosted feel on the other side and so I love it so as you can see it's fantastic so I got those to fit into the system and then again these came with them so again January through December and then three blank spots and then we have discs, y'all. So these look like they're mini discs. I was debating on whether or not I was gonna get these or just stick with my Happy Planner discs, but I wanted to fully engulf myself in the whole Inkwell Press system and I feel like this whole, I feel like these discs are a part of the experience. Um, but as you can see, they, they don't have the hearts because again, that's a Happy Planner thing. Um, but they're just metal discs. They're very light. Um, they don't feel as heavy as Happy Planner discs and they're not like as shiny. They're more um, matte, but they are metal discs. And so it came with those and they are mini sized. So they're probably the same size as a Happy Planner mini disc. Let me just do a quick comparison because I do have my half sheet notebook over here that has mini discs on it. Nope, they are a little bit bigger than the mini sized discs from the Happy Planner, as you can see. So that's good. So it gives you a little bit more space. All right, so I'm gonna set this all up as well. And I'm, and I'm gonna show you like exactly how I'm gonna be using it. All right, so let me move the box out of the way. And the final piece, y'all, is the planner. So I opted for a gold notebook or journal because I feel like, again, I don't need another planner and I probably wouldn't use it as a planner. So I said, this could be a great place to write in goals. So I got the Inkwell Press Productivity Co. Goals Notebook or Goals Journal. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. So let me show you how it looks. All right, so it's a goal setting planner. So this is really cool. And I have been looking for a system for goal setting. And so that's why I said that was kind of perfect timing. So I can um, have a place to write in all of my goals. As you can see at the bottom, they've got uh, some little icons here for, I guess, you to write in your phone number and email I don't know y'all I don't know what that's for and paper quality is still on point and so let's flip through this baby and see how it looks on the inside so there's a little quote there her um, this is the creator of the planner her social information and then goals uh, planner step one step two step three so how to use this planner and then we've got looking back three words that best describe my past year and my life last year was written oh excuse me if my life last year was written as a book the title of the book would be if i had a time machine i would go back 12 months and tell myself three big events that happened my proudest accomplishments were what bought me the most joy was the hardest part about last year was what goals did you set for yourself last year so different prompts here and again this is going to be perfect timing for me because it is um september almost october and so everybody's looking for goal setting and um of course i'm no different i like to set goals and so this will be what i'll use for that so we've got a calendar year overview so we've got the months broken down here by personal work and home and then we have a shifting perspective so i'm really looking forward to digging deep and really looking at this to see like how i can use it so list three things that happened past year that seemed negative what did you learn from these experiences only thing is i kind of wish that the font was black i feel like it's kind of hard to read but it's still cute so i do kind of wish that so your life wheel so this is like a prompted journal i love this Goal brainstorm, goal vision board, Q1, Q2 goals, Q3, Q4 goals. I love this. I love this. I love prompts. I don't like just a blank notebook. Sometimes it's hard to come up with content. Um, so this is really cool. So now it's time to set your goals. You have an action roadmap. Then you have your goal one, your goal two, goal three. 
and that says what did you want to accomplish why is this important to you um, is it smart rate it specific measurable attainable rewarding timed make adjustments succeed impact rewrite your goal here so that's cool and then on the back side it's got your action roadmap so that's really cool i like that so let's see how many pages of goals it includes looks like a lot of pages of goals <laughs> All right, 12, 12 pages of goals. All right, and then we've got our January checkpoint. Love the shapes there. It says, focus what steps from your action roadmap will you accomplish this month? Break them down into weekly goals. Like that a lot. And then January focus page. What is one monthly accomplishment you'll feel proud of? What are two weekly goals that you'll prioritize? What are three daily habits that will move you towards them? Like that. Hey, January download this month's accomplishments, three things I'm grateful for this month. How did you feel about this past month? How did you work towards your goal? Next month action steps. Overall, how would you rate this month? And then we've got February, same shapes there. Super cute and chic, same pattern. And that goes through December. So let's see if there's anything after December. All right, so that is it as far as the monthlies go and then there's a notes page on the back and there's a note page on the back of every single month so that's cool to write down some additional things and then your q4 checkpoint so that says uh, this quarter felt impossible difficult okay great incredible did you meet your monthly goals struggled survived kind of yes nailed it three successes i've had the quarter are the good news about q4 was the not so good news about uh q4 was my focus for q1 is so after q4 of course you go back to q1 goal adjustments and then your life wheel and then managing your fear this is so cool y'all year end review and then some goals for this year i accomplished this goal so you're supposed to write in the goal here on the line and then if you accomplished it check it off if you didn't accomplish it check it off so I like that and then next year's goals. So that's it y'all for this goals notebook. This is gonna be perfect for me. I'll probably pop in some fill paper as well to jot some additional things down. I am gonna do my same fold out that I did last year, this year. So of course I will upload that video to my channel so you guys can see how that looks. So I'm thinking I do like this cover. I'm thinking I like the gray y'all. Yes, honey. Okay, so we'll be using the gray. And so let's go ahead and set this baby up really quickly and get it all together and then I'll show you how it all looks set up. Okay, so I really quickly wanted to show you guys a quick comparison to the Erin Condren planner as far as sizing goes. So I know a lot of you like to pull out the pages and then punch them for like the happy planner and different things. So as you can see, the size is right on with the Erin Condren planner. Like it's literally just about the same size as the Erin Condren planner. So, and I love the size of the Erin Condren planner. I really do. And so let me show you the size of the Happy Planner, which is a little bit bigger. You know, the Happy Planner has three sizes. And so this is their classic size. So just to pull out the cover, I mean, it technically could fit on here and it has the punches in the same place. It's just that the Happy Planner is a little bit bigger. Now this is a cover from my shop, but it's formatted the same size as the Happy Planner. So it's just a little bit bigger. It's not that much bigger. So that's why I was thinking y'all. Now this would be like something to really test. I got that cover because I wanted to use it for my Happy Planner. If I'm being honest. Because I have two covers. So I wanted to try it out to see if it would work because I feel like the Happy Planner needs more um, hard covers in their lineup. They have a whole bunch of the deluxe covers, but I'm not into the deluxe covers. I do have two of them, but sometimes that gets old, and so I want them to add more of these covers to their lineup. The hard covers, the snapping covers, I love them. Y'all, this thing fits. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
this it fits wow i was not expecting it to fit okay i'm in trouble because now i'm thinking i want to remove this cover and put this cover on y'all like i almost want to create a whole new planner y'all i am going to of course use this as is because i love it so this is going to be again my goal setting journal let me get back to this we'll talk about this on another video y'all let me get my life together so let me pull this off i just wanted to see if it would fit the happy planner so now i know a place where i can go to order covers that will fit the happy planner and you do as well so let me put that back on and let's get back to the subject at hand okay so it's all set up i do have to put my dividers in and then we've got the pouch here that can go right here on on the front and i can tuck some things in we've got our pin loop that can go on the back We've got our ruler here that I can pop in. And then remember, we do have these half sheets that I can pop in as well. And then I also have to set up my divider tabs. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera. I just wanted to show you what I picked up from Inkwell Press. I'm super excited about it. And I'm very pleased with the quality of it. So again, just to recap, we've got a cover here. This is what I purchased to go with this goal setting system. I just purchased this cover separately thinking that it would just be good to have, especially since it was on clearance. I got my pouch here. The discs came with it. The goal setting planner on the inside is fantastic. We got the ruler, we've got the pin loop and we've got the divider tabs, uh, the divider dashboards along with the tabs. Y'all, this thing is going to be fantastic i can't wait to use it so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to show you what i picked up from the inkwell press company productivity company i'm pleased with everything love the quality of it love the packaging i'm definitely going to be using that goal setting journal and i can't wait to show you guys some plan with me using it so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you stopping by my channel today hopefully you enjoyed this video which means you will consider subscribing to my channel and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it so hopefully you guys will come back by to catch another video in which case, I'll see you then.